Fresh sanctions from the United States on some of the country's banks and against individual Russian elites and their family members. Uh, joining us now on this, Wally Adeyemo, Deputy Secretary uh, of the Treasury. So when, uh, when President Putin was made aware of uh, the uh, proclamations yesterday of the, of the sanctions, what do you think he thought, Wally, at that point, about what he expected, would you say? Uh, good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, what President Putin thought was that the United States and, his, and their allies were taking steps that would constrain his ability to project power into the future. We went after institutions that are critical to his ability to spend money on things like his military and also elites who are close to him who fund his lifestyle, as well as constraining their ability to borrow money in the future that will make it harder for him to take actions like the ones he took yesterday. Do, was there a... a a notion to keep something in the tank for the future? Well, is that the way you, you, you proceed uh, with this? If, in other words, if he does more, they, you, you do even more. And is that the right way to do it? Should you, the Fed has to decide 25 basis points or do we go 50 right away? Should, should we have canceled, for example, Nord Stream 2 instead of it? It looks like almost just kind of, a, well, we'll suspend it. Uh, we'll see what happens. Is, was more needed or is it a wait and see approach? So one of the critical things that we did was we outlined for President Putin very directly what we would do in response to his invasion. We would take significant financial sanctions, we would cut off his access to technology, and we would cut off his elites. And we started that process yesterday. The president made clear yesterday that, that that was our first tranche. And one of the most significant things we did was that we acted not alone but with our allies and partners in Europe, which sent a clear message to President Putin. And we have more that we will do if President Putin decides to further his invasion into Ukraine, more significant actions. In 2014, I was here. I had a chance to work in the White House when President Putin went into Crimea. And what I can tell you is that the actions that we're contemplating taking are far more significant than what we did then. Will sanctions be enough if he has it in his mind that he's going to uh, you know, reconstitute the greatness of, of Russia, if that's in the back of his mind, is there anything economically that, that would stop him if he has that in mind, do you think, Wally? Ultimately, this is a choice that President Putin has got to make. He has to decide if he wants to launch an invasion into a sovereign country, and if he does that, we're going to be prepared to launch significant sanctions that will curtail his ability to project power into the future, but the choice belongs to him. We would rather he choose diplomacy, and we've made that an option. We're ready to discuss with him next steps. But if he doesn't choose that, we're willing to use significant sanctions to stop his ability to project power into the future.